Bringing a dog into your home is not a decision to be made lightly, and it's an even more critical decision if you're a first-time canine leader. Some dog breeds are more trainable and require less time and effort on your part, while others will demand a considerable commitment from you. Factors like intelligent, willingness to please, protective instincts, independence and energy are just a few things you need to consider with every single breed. Today, we're looking at the powerful Bull Mastiff. Let's find out how this breed could fit into your life as a first-time canine leader. Welcome back to the Bull Mastiff channel. If this is your first time here, my name's Hattie. I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com and this channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the Bull Mastiff, and then how to become high-level canine leaders that can raise the perfect Bull Mastiff. So if you're a lifelong Bull Mastiff lover, thinking about getting one, or just started your journey with your new Bull Mastiff, then this channel is for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a future upload. So let's dive into today's video and we'll find out if the first Bull Mastiff is the right choice for your first canine companion. Firstly, I encourage you to check out all of the videos on this channel and stay tuned for new ones coming out every week, since we take a more in-depth look at many of the factors that we're talking about today in those videos. Let's get right into everything you need to know as a first time canine leader before bringing this impressive canine into your home. Let's jump right in and go over the Bull Mastiff's exercise requirements because they aren't nearly as demanding as you'd expect from a canine that was bred to chase poachers across estates. The Bull Mastiff has a low to moderate energy level, which is of course closer to moderate until they reach maturity. Once they're fully grown, they are generally pretty low energy and a few good walks each day should be enough for them. They're not going to exercise themselves since they're quite bonded to their family and downright lazy sometimes, so you need to be mindful of their joints their whole life, but especially until they're fully grown. Walking with them helps to keep them in shape and from becoming overweight, which could also impact their joints. You're probably aware that the Bull Mastiff is a large breed with impressive guarding instincts and is quite intelligent but has an equally impressive stubborn streak. But did you know that intelligence goes both ways? Sure, it can make them easy to train, but they can also train you just as easily if you're not experienced with working class canines. Your Bull Mastiff may refuse to sit without a reward, and the inexperienced owner will generally run out of patience before the Bull Mastiff and break out the treats. From there on, you can bet that they'll use the same technique any time they're asked to do anything. I know it sounds silly now, but I promise things like that happen far more often than you think with this breed. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video. I wanted to quickly let you know, if you didn't know already, that I have a completely free course called The Principles to the Perfect Puppy. In that course, I break down all of the most important things that I think you absolutely have to know and understand for you to become a high-level canine leader that raises your own perfect canine companions. So if you want to go and check out my completely free Principles to the Perfect Puppy course, there'll be a link down in the description box below. Thousands of people have taken that and had incredible success so I can't wait to see you over there again there'll be a link in the description box below I'll see you on that course you might be considering a bull master because they're known to be excellent family guardians both in instinct and size and while they are wonderful protectors their instincts and size can put them at risk in everyday situations even though they have a very low reactivity level people who are afraid of dogs or even just not comfortable around them can set their instincts on edge as they seek to always protect their family you should absolutely not consider bringing a bull mastiff or any similarly imposing guardian breed into your home as a first time canine leader. I don't say this to be dramatic, but it's a sad fact that so many beautiful canines, bull mastiffs and others end up in shelters because they require more time and training than their family could give them. Bull mastiffs are devoted family companions and will keep a watchful eye on everyone in the house, even if it looks like they're just sleeping. They tend to be especially watchful with babies and young children in the home. It's easy for boundaries to blur when their affection just melts your heart, but their devotion and willingness to please are satisfied best when they know what's acceptable and what isn't. They love their family and they love to be cuddled, but they're not overly needy about it like some other guardian breeds. Typically, most bull mastiffs are content to sleep all day as long as there is a regular routine when the family comes home and gives them the attention they desire. They are more prone to boredom during their puppy years, like every canine, so they'll need more exercise during that time to prevent destructive habits. To say it plainly, bull mastiffs are not good for first time owners. They are potentially a good choice for experienced owners if they've developed the skills to be the calm, consistent canine leader that this breed demands. There are many wonderful breeds out there that are better suited to inexperienced owners and jumping right in with such a powerful breed like this could be a recipe for disaster. No matter what breed you choose or your experience level, seriously consider your lifestyle and how happy the canine you choose will be with it. 
If you've decided the Bull Massive isn't the best choice for you, make sure you check out the other videos over on the Fenrir Canine Show and the roundups of the best breeds for first time canine leaders. I hope you enjoyed today's video, if so make sure you hit that like button, get involved down in the comment section below and don't forget that if you're new here make sure you subscribe. We have two dedicated Bull Mastiff videos coming here every week so I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Bull Mastiff channel.